Greetings everybody. Welcome to my YouTube channel. This channel is where I basically put lots of information that I can't be asked to store in my head. And uh, if, if any of the um, information is sort of suitable and uh, usable by yourselves, then I, I'm glad to have been a, um, a service. Right, uh, as you can see flashing on the screen is the result of upgrading from Yosemite to El Capitano. Now the problem um, is the migration of mail hasn't worked properly. I found out what's caused this and I'll go through it in um, detail so you can actually fix it if uh, you're suffering from this same problem. Now one thing I should point out, um, if this does happen shutting your computer down is extremely difficult uh, purely and simp simply because what we have here uh, <laughs> is a complete control over everything that's um, available for you to switch it off and kill it. Uh, so the only way that I found to do this is to hold down the power button until you get the options to restart and um, make sure you tick the box and I'll show you here make sure you tick the box um, not to open windows um, when it restarts otherwise this damn thing will work straight away um, you don't really need that so uh, if I just do restart right what we're going to do here is go into the file system for mail and the way to do that is you uh, hit go and we're looking for something called libraries now libraries has a lot of protected files in here so if you hold down the alt key you'll notice libraries appears now you have to be very cautious in here because there's some very sensitive data and if you muck with it it could cause a lot of trouble so what we're looking for is mail and under mail you'll see this v2 now what I've noticed on a good working Mac that there's another folder called v3 and it appears that the migration process hasn't completely finished so we're gonna have to do it manually all right so the v3 um, we will now add manually so we've got new folder now sometimes you can new folder by right clicking and do new folder and then we're going to call this V3. Okay. And what we're going to do is copy the contents of V2. Well, basically, we're going to cut the contents of V2 into V3. All right. So um, I've got this function here. So I can cut. Uh, if you do a copy, you have to go back and make sure that this is all removed. And there, and then we do paste. It'll probably ask you for your password, which is your login password. And now it's transferred all the files over, and v2 is empty. However, we do have to make sure there is one folder and one file in v2. So if we open up v3, we need to go into. mail data or well, yeah um, this is an old one that I was mucking about with and we can actually get rid of this um, if we go into mail data we need to copy this folder name and then we need to put one file in that which is this accounts.plst all right so we can do this uh, two ways uh, firstly go into there right click new folder and that's called mail space D -A -T -A, mail data and press return and that's there you could also um, secondary click it and you'll get the same option uh, just to get a new folder mail data so if we go back in here we look up mail data there in fact I've done that wrong. If you notice, I've put a space in there. 
so to edit that press return on the file which will allow you to edit take the space away and we're back to how it should be so if we have a look back in here we've got mail data and we only need to cut one folder out so well it's got accounts.plst we're going to cut that and we're going to put it in v2 in there paste it now if you've copied okay from v3 in here and um, make sure you remove it so it's only lurking in v2 okay so once you've done that if you then go back to open mail you should see this and then that will allow you to import your mail so that in theory is how it's all done should you have any problems and um, do feel free to uh, contact me and um, maybe I can uh, help you out all right, well, uh, I'll carry on putting more stuff onto uh, this YouTube. And if it's any good to you, then I'm very happy. All right, speak to you soon. Goodbye.